First look at Gcam 6.2 on the Xiaomi POCO F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Munchie here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a look at Gcam 6.2 running on our POCO F1. Let's first go into settings about phone. As you can see, right now I am running MIUI Global Stable 10.3.4.0 and I have not rooted my POCO F1. This is a completely stock phone right now. What are the things which we need to install Gcam 6.2 on our POCO F1? Well, all you need is just one APK from Sanity, the developer behind Gcam 6.2 ports for the POCO F1, which is this file over here. I will also link his thread in the description of this video in case you want to grab the latest APK from that thread. If you want Google Lens, you can also download the Google Lens APK. Then if you want to use playground stickers like your Avengers pack, the latest Pikachu pack, then you have to install Google AR Core and then the playground APK and then download the APK for whatever AR sticker you want. I will have a link to all these in the description of this video. So let me repeat the order one more time. First thing you need to install is the Gcam APK. Then you need to install Google AR Lens, then AR Core, then the Playground APK and then whatever AR stickers you want. Also make sure that you have removed any previous version of Gcam which you have installed on your phone. And another thing to note is that if you have Snapcam installed, this application will overwrite that. So make sure you remove your Snapcam as well. Let me go ahead, install all these APKs and then I'll be back. All right, peeps, I have successfully installed the new Google Camera APK and Google Lens. So let me drag and drop these two applications on the desktop just so that it makes my life easier. Let us first go into Lens, bring an object in front of it and see how it reacts. Let's go ahead, give it a try. Here we have my friend, Mr. Yoda. It is telling me that it did not find anything. However, let me click on Yoda and bam, there we have it related results which means that google lens is working absolutely fine because it got us pictures of master yoda if you put a product in front of google lens and then tap on it it will give you all the details of that product as well so google lens is working absolutely fine with gcam 6.2 on the poco f1 let's now go ahead and get into the real deal let's open the google camera application no lag in the viewfinder at all and if I place my phone down like this, it is telling me to try night sight, which means the sensor is detecting that it is dark enough and I should try night sight. Let us now dive through the options which we get with Gcam 6.2. The first option you get is lens blur. Where do you use lens blur? Well, if you're trying to take a portrait shot of an object using the Google camera, it might not work because Google has put AI in the Gcam mode wherein it will not take a portrait shot until and unless it detects a human face. So in these scenarios, say you're taking a picture of a flower and you want it to be a portrait shot, then you should use lens blur. This is working absolutely fine and I have tested it. The next option we have is panorama. This is not working fine on the Gcam mod and even the developer sanity recommends that you use MIUI camera for this. Next you have portrait mode. So portrait mode is working absolutely fine for both the front camera and the rear camera. Do note when you take pictures using the front camera on the Google camera mod, the pictures will be flipped. And if you need to fix it, there is no option within your Google camera mod to fix it. You'll have to use a third party tool called Gcam tool, which I have linked in the description of this video in case you want to use it. Let us now try taking a portrait picture of my friend, Mr. Yoda and Mr. Walter White who are present over here with us and see how that goes. So focus on Master Yoda and bam, we just took a picture. Let me open it and see whether we had two shots or not. So as you can see, it is telling me the number two on the side, which means this was a portrait shot. Let's now try to edit this guy in Google Photos to change the blur and the focus. 
All right, peeps, this is the picture which we just took, Master Yoda and Walter White in the building. Click on this option at the bottom. It will bring up another options pop up. Click on this guy one more time and there it is. Now we can edit whatever we feel like editing. Let's try by changing the light. So this is the slider for that. And there, as you can see, changing the light is working absolutely fine. Let's now try changing the color, this other slider. And there it is you can see master yoda less green more green in the face so changing the color is also working let's now try changing the depth and there you can see master yoda blurred and if i change it master yoda is not blurred you can also try changing the focus so right now the focus is on mr walter white and if i tap on master yoda the focus just changed to master Yoda. So editing all these things is working absolutely fine. Let me now go into settings and then go into manage my apps. Look for Google Photos and tell you the version of Google Photos which I am using. And this is the version which I am using in case you want to edit all these things in Google Camera 6.2 on the Poco F1. The next option we have is camera. You might notice that you have something called motion is enabled. However, do note that the POCO F1 at this point is not capable of taking motion photos. Why is that? That is because there is something called hardware support level which you can find out using an application called camera to probe in the play store. So I have this application installed on my Google Pixel 2. Here it is. You can see that the hardware level support for my Google Pixel 2 is level 3. If you try it on the POCO F1, it will be full so because it is full motion photos will not work on the poco f1 next up you have the option of switching between hdr plus and hdr plus enhanced both these options are working absolutely fine next up we have video for videos i recommend that you use miui camera because that is better next let's go into more and night sight is working absolutely fine with the front camera and with the rear camera as well let's try to test out photosphere i've never been good with taking a perfect photosphere let me warn you beforehand but i'll give it a try and see how that goes so this is the photosphere which i just took let me click on this arrow and see how it was so you have some blurring on this side let's try the bottom you have blurring on the bottom as well and you have blurring on all the sides photosphere is working good next up we have slow motion in the building and by default it is 1x8x let me try on tapping it and when i tap on it it's not changing to 1x4x in previous versions of gcam we had the option of switching between 1x4x and 1x8x however it seems that in this version we do not have that option it is what it is let's now go ahead and test out how 1x8x works and whether it is working or not so let me Bring in my fidget spinner into the scene. Batman fidget spinner in the building. 1x8x slow motion. Let me try to record this guy. And there it is. Recording is working absolutely fine. So we are recording 1x8x slow motion video on our POCO F1 with no issues. Next up, we have playground stickers in the building. And as most of you would know, I am a huge fan of AR stickers. So let's open the playground application. It wants some permissions. Let's allow those permissions. And for the first time, you have to drag and drop this burger guy and then pinch and zoom and fix it. But you know, let's just go back, go into more, go back into playground one more time. And then we click on this more content. I had downloaded and installed the latest detective Pikachu AR stickers. Let's bring Pikachu into the building. And bam, there it is. Let's try taking a picture of Pikachu. There it is. And let's try recording a video as well. Press and hold. I will electrocute you. All right, Pikachu. Thank you. We'll have a look at that later. So video recording is working absolutely fine as well. That will do it for this video, peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.